You should be in the big yard at the Pineville Motel. Yes, the Pineville Motel in Nichols oh, Tandras is your spot for the most unique island experience. Whether you decide to go fishing, crabbing, bird and wild boar watching or hunting, take in the forest garden with live entertainment, indoor and outdoor theater, find your way to the Pineville Motel in Nichols Town, North Angeles. One of the ways the Seminoles used to get water, they used to discover these fountains mostly in a coppice area or some other flat land that they would find these, 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 these fountains and that is how they used to get the fresh water. And there you have it, a fountain that you can get fresh water from at any time in its land. If you taste that, it's just cool, cool like it was in a refrigerator. But I don't know if they would get it from here. But that is fresh, yeah. pure drinking water. What I do periodically, I come around and I drop a tablet, a chlorine tablet, just to help. Stuff like that. Call the uh, you ready? The guana berry. This was one of the one of the little berries and stuff that the Seminoles used to eat. Uh, the gu iguanas used they usually eat this. Yes, and eat, um, so that's why they give it name uh, guana berry. But you don't need it, humans. Sure don't. enough, I do. I, oh. I love it, but there's no food on it as yet. See all the blossom on the, on oh, the tree? Yes. You come and when it's covered with fruits and you just collect the little fruits and you throw them in your mouth and it's very tasty. Micah, what they do, they, the old, old folks used to do with this, this is good for bath. For what? If you were painful, you have pain and stuff yes. in your body, you boil this and you, 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 you bathe in this. Uh, warm and it would help take away the pains out of your body. This oh. this is called a Michael tree. We call it wax myrtle. Yeah, okay, well. It's wax myrtle? You, wow. see, you can smell it. Smell it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have yeah. two of them in my yard. Wow. But they're, not as, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not as lush as this. Yeah, so this, this is, this is what this from. good for. So it has back. that gold Seminole well that they used to use. See all the, the rock and thing, how they used to get used to modern stuff like that. Place the rock around it. This is one of the wells right here. Oh. But they just pull it up with stuff, it's gone down, nobody used it. But this is one of the temple wells right here. So? The tamarind. I love to leave. This is the tamarind tree. All on the ground. Look at that. Yeah. Tamarind tree. The tamarind tree. Oh, we got those. Yeah. Tamarind tree. Probably over 100 years. Well, I like it. When I was born, I learned this tree new. Summy. Oh. This is called, this is the um, uh, fig tree. This is a type of fig tree here. And this okay. is, we call it gamalami. 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 Yes, a place that, that they, they design a fortuitous attraction called gamalami tea. That is gamalami. That's an indigenous tree that they, 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 they don't want you to. But that is good, you can right make now. the, 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 the uh, Seminoles used to do with that. You know? They used to cut it and make small sailing boats out of it for, for recreation. They put it in the water. Every family made one and they would go down the sea and they would have them rig and somebody would be manning those and they would be sailing them to see which one yeah. was the fastest. Abraham Foundation and the whole of the old, old outhouse yep. that they built in our happen? community. Once it had two rooms, right. one for female and one for male. Okay. That you could come from any area and you would come here and you use it. Well, um, <laughs> now in the States, I know out at my grandmother's house, he built hers, they built it over a stream so okay, that the water yeah. runs through and then uh -huh. goes on out into the field. Yeah, but this, we just used to, you know. Well, did they clean it out? No, the, the, the hole was deep. The hole was oh, deep. Oh, really deep? No. They just leave no. that stuff there. Huh. Yeah. What is this in the middle? Is this one of our fruit? Yes, it is. So the tree would be right above us. But this one's hard, and the ones that we picked up were very soft. Maybe that high wind would do that. Yeah. Feel that. See if you can open that. This is too soft. Wait a few days. Wait a few days? Yeah. yeah. This is a hand bill road. If you were to rake off all this stuff, uh -huh. you, would see, you would see where they used to put the rocks on the side. Right. And then they put the rocks in the sand, and they beat it down, and then they put chop the curry from the holes like that. 
They chop the curry over the rock, put on the top, and they would tamp it. They're good, yeah. right? They would tamp it and make it, and this was the road that leads from the community straight to the schoolhouse, straight to the church. Oh. And everything was on this end. The church was on this end, the school was on this end, and the community was up in here. This is the last Seminole who used to live right here on Joe Lewis. He, uh, 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 he wrote up his kids. There was a small house in the back here. He lived here, one of those men who came from one of those Seminoles who came. Right. The Lewis, he, he, he has a lot of people who lived right in this yard in the back here. There's a whole house still in the back there. And Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You can see, this mm. is some of the rock from the part that they built. These rock was placed by hand. This is some of the rock from the part. The part come right through and go straight through, and this is some of the rock. And, and soil that was placed here. They, they the holes, they, some of the holes that we used to go in and take the hat, the ass, and the hatchet, and we would dig the curry from to, to put on this road. Like, when my growing up in times, I could go, I could, after school, I could go and cut my curry and they used to buy it, buy it by the pile. And I would make a little two, three dollars a pile or five dollars a pile and stuff like that. And all the children used to go and their, their, their fathers them hole and cut their own curry and make your pile and they get paid for them because government was paying for this to be built. Because that's the only way we could oh. get a, a road for us to work, um, get uh -huh. back and forth to school. Built by you, hand, you with no then? tractors. Yeah, I was, in, I, I, I was young. Of the Seminole, one of the Seminoles who rode over and came over. What was his name again? Joseph Lewis was his son. Mm -hmm. This was Joseph Lewis' father's house that was built in the early 18, in, in, in the 18th century. And what has happened with this? They built the walls, and and after they left it, the the, 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 the fig tree grew over it, and as you can see, the fig tree is formed. The fig tree is formed in the way of the, how the house was built. And you can still see um, remnants of the walls. Uh -huh. See, as you look in this, you can see remnants of the walls that is still existed. And this was the, this was one of the houses that was built by the Seminole. One of those gentlemen who rode over. Mm -hmm. See, this was the wind, This was one of the windows in here. Oh yeah. The, that was formed. The walls are still here. Um, what a portion of this. You see, these just like how the, the house is built. So it was a stone house. Huh? Yeah, this is a stone, stone house. Well, see, yeah. You can see some of the wood still. Come, come, and, come and, around. And what did they use to fill in? And they used to take the wood and they would bind the rocks okay. and uh, on the cone shell and that would make a type of lime that they mix with the curry and the sand and they would you, they would use that. And this, see, this was a piece of the wood from out the early 1800s oh, yeah. that still remains here. That is in here. Okay. They used to use the pine. The pine, the scent of the pine was the strongest portion of the pine. Okay. And that would last for centuries. And see, see it forms right here after oh, yeah. how the house continues going this way. care of it. It, it, it closed in, the trash from the trees all blew down in it, hurricane uh -huh. came and washed stuff down in it, and now there's no water in it. Oh. But this is where they used to go down into this, oh. and they would bathe and they would do all their washing, yeah. right down in this hole, this big hole. This is like the center of the community. Yeah. You had one set of people living this way, one set living the other way, and they would come to this hole and they would wash and they would bathe down inside of this hole. And 
walk back out. <laughs> this is the trail where you used to walk down. You would walk down the side and see another trail. This is the part that you used to get down in. The simple part of it. This is solid. A new time is down inside of the bathtub of the Seminole Indians, where they used to bathe, where they used to wash their clothing and everything. So this was the washer and the bathtub that oh, they used in, in, in their day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so this is where it's at. No diving. No diving. <laughs> yeah. Wow. They put their feet on and they step and they just step out. This was how they get got down inside of it. You walk yourself right out. Basket of clothes. You towel across your back. You come out. Very short or whatever. Come down. Okay. You come back over to yeah, when I lived over in uh, Palm Beach, there was a huge mango tree, so I'd just go eat the mangoes for lunch. <laughs> they used to use for beans and stuff. Still in there, man. Still in there. Well, that's Get all of it. That's right. <laughs> all the credit. You have the foundation of the wall that they not built. It oh, goes yeah. all the way around there. Yeah, this is a big, big one. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Is this considered a dwell, the dwelling home? And it goes all the way. Hey, Father? Yeah. This is the, the foundation of the remainder of the house. And this is the fireplace right here. This is the fireplace. That was kept through generation. My my uncles and those, they kept the fireplace. They did not let it go down. They used to continue with cooking and stuff in this. And my cousin, after he... He stayed here for a while, he kept the fireplace going. And right here, my cousin, they had a, they had a tax hut that my cousin lived in until he moved out of it. He built a house and he moved up out and it was just demolished by storms and stuff. After it, get, it deteriorated. Yeah. No, that's not the house, that's the wall around the, build, the perimeter of the land. This is the corner. You can see the corner of the house wall. So this house is all uh, stone. That, that, that was built by the Seminoles. The yeah. Those who rode over from Florida. See some more big dilly. You like big things. That's why you marry a big man. Good <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Now big dillies, big crabs, big men. Here was the doorway. This was the step that they built. See the form of the step? So oh, this yeah. was the doorway. That was the step. Uh -huh. That was the doorway right there. Wow. That is the old step. That was mm -hmm. the doorway. The doorway was right there. <laughs> you going to start cooking dinner? I'm just happy to be standing. Happy to be standing in this old stone house. Built by the Seminole. The Seminole Indian. Great, my great grandfather Florida. of Abraham. Yeah. <laughs> built this house. Fireplace. It's over here. Yeah, over there. Over there. Wow. And a big tree. It's back there. So how many do you think lived in this house? Maybe a couple of them. That was able to take you in those days. That was able to take your family. Because all they needed was a sleeping place. Did they have large families? Yeah, yeah. So like how many children do you because think? Because my grandfather had, oh, my grandfather had uh, four, three sons, three sons. Okay. My daddy and his two brothers. Okay. Sons. All right. And, yeah, and, and I think two, two daughters. I knew one, one of the aunt, but I didn't know the other one. She died before I was born. Uh -huh. It was the only yard that was completely walled in. It was completely walled in, all around. Why was that? That, 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 was, the the Indian, that was the type of a tr rich, uh, tradition that they had. Most of them wanted a yard whereby it was protected from everybody else. So 
we had a wall right in that you had to either enter one of the gates. So it's probably the chief for living in this area or something. Like that. So probably he was the chief. Yeah. The back section of the wall, this was the entrance. Okay. You had to come through and the other entrance was out front there. And there was these two breaking, but in my growing up, these walls were perfectly in place, high up. Oh. But, but the, the, after the, everybody started building and they wanted stones and yes. so they came in and people Took moved them. them out of the way. But hopefully we're going to do a reenactment and could create these things back that people really could see how it really was. Yes. You know, place them all back in place. Yeah. Okay. Now you said you have a brother or two still living over here. Are yeah. they interested in helping you restore some of this? Sure enough, they will. Well, they get the Need to get a grant. Pick one of the that is to see the walls. The writings, they, they have writings and stuff in it, but you know the the thing do it out. But all, all we gonna we gonna re, re refurbish these. We gonna take out all that stuff and fix it back inside, yes. and then uh, clean it out so we can have water in it that people really can <laughs> see what this really was. But this is how they used to preserve, fix their wells. They cut it in the rock and then they build it up with stones to keep it from stuff getting back down into oh, yeah. it. Well, this is just all make-believe. This is absolutely uh, uh, fiberglass, but doesn't it look <laughs> real? Okay, you go. You talk to him. Okay, this here is one of the oldest wells here in Naughty Lucha. Red Bay. <laughs> okay, we're sitting on one of the oldest, still intact wells here in Red Bay's Abaco. And just oh, get it. He's a lawyer. He can do right, it. Right, he'll get it. We're sitting on the only remaining intact well here at Red Bay's Andros. It was created by the Seminoles, built by the Seminoles. This was built by the Seminoles. Who migrated from Florida. Around 1821. Mm -hmm. Migrated. In when Jesus and they would go round and round rushing with their partners and just enjoying themselves, just singing without any music or anything. And that was some of the festival they used to have in during the Christmas time and the Easter time in, in, in the community. It just ceased a couple of years ago after the majority of the older ones died out. Yeah. Oh yeah. gosh, that's something yeah. you used to do. called Russian somebody... song every year, but they use music. But the type we had no music at all, just right. rhyming and singing and making melody with the mu with your voice and stuff and right. oh wow. I bet you had a drum though that you could No drums. Know. When they first came over, if you had the Seminoles and the... Well, the Seminoles used to, had that form of Baptist, uh -huh, they, they, they follow that Baptist huh. and, um, tradition more like, more per se. So then that means you dip them in the water to baptize them? You dip them in the water to uh -huh. baptize them, it's correct. We, okay. we, we don't sprinkle, we don't have to baptize you. No, we, you go all, we, all the way. We merge you down yes. in the water, cover your face, and when you get up, if you wipe your face before the pastor wipe it, you got to go back down again. Oh my gosh. Booja, <laughs> booja. Obviously, <laughs> you, obviously you... Say to the Word of God prayer ministry. Yes, that's Yeah. Wow, Word of God. Our key is the Word, studying the Word. Then our next key is prayer. Okay. You know, because... When the Indians migrated from Florida, this was one of the things that they used to help them with, to help. They, if they had a little bit of flour, they used, they can make so, uh, uh, two type of start from this plant, and it's called the, the cunny, cunny um, plant. They grade this, they wash it a couple times, so you'll have a brown powder from it that is called starch, a brown powder and a white powder. And from it also comes a, a chaff that you can make bread with. Huh. And, and instead of whole wheat, you sprinkle that in the white flour and it looks like whole wheat. But it's off the chain. And, uh, and this is, uh, 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 and the, the, the start from it, you can make porridge with it mm -hmm. and put sweetened milk in it all. And if you're weak, it would give you strength. <laughs> or if you need that zest in your body, if you need that zest in your body where you don't want to, you don't want, you don't want to sleep all night, you want to just, you know the rest. Combine that with the love vine. Oh my, oh, oh yeah. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it will be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> He's mighty more now. <laughs> <laughs> now the bigger cheese you could eat those. Berries, the berries? Pigeons like them, but you yeah. could eat those at nice. night. Oh, that's what your daughter was telling us, Eugene, about this tree. That's that Dilly tree is all, about 100 years old because when I grew up, I grew up with that as a big tree. I used to climb and get dillies and stuff off. So they, they, they're the old trees, old, old trees. Oh. And if you would look, there's only one pine tree in the midst of all of these trees. That's the pine tree over there. And that was there for years. 
Mm. Put up in the midst of these trees. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Five on the tree have a good and red base. Not right there. That is over 60, 70 odd years. I made it be. What kind of tree this is? Ponciana. Ponciana. Migrated from Florida, uh -huh. and and this is where he built after after the old wall house had broken down. This is the house that he built. That house his whole family. He died. He died out of this house. I watched him. I I, I watched when they moved him, his body from this house. He was the pastor of the church, and then after him came Pastor John Newton and and, and those like that, Dean Newton and those. He was, wow. he was good around, he was in the 90s when he died. Wow. Yeah. And this, red, this is the house where he lived. Huh? Joseph Lewis, he yeah, came from Florida. Hey, Father, hey, Brown, see if anybody home. Oh, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you be surprised? <laughs> to Andres, what you think about my new home? Now, you, you need to get that. Eugene. Father told me but my grandfather who was double jointed. He built a seven feet wooden sloop out of wood. After completion, he turned it on his head, he lifted by himself, put it on his head, and he walked through this trackway to go to the waterfront, which is three quarters of a mile. He alone took it and rested in the water, all by himself. My grand, my. This is Pine Village, where we've been staying here in Andros, and it has been so much fun. Quite enough, yeah. check it out. <laughs> Look at the tree. Look how it's just grown yeah. over there. Just back. Got to close the windows. It might rain. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, just strolling along the beach, having a wonderful time. Oh, there's the tree. Oh, get him out of the way. So they're still wearing clothes. Yes. <laughs> they're still doing that. <laughs> I thought the students would get water from. It still has water in it, but they just need to clean out everybody falling off, man. They close it up from the children. Hey! They close it up from the children after the children. Mm -hmm. But no, for the children for the primary school to leave the school, we could get water from there and stuff like this. They don't use it anymore? No, I, 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 am, I, am, I am going to get all of these refurbished. I'm putting it out and yeah. fix properly that. How did they come? By boat. Yeah. Uh, canoes. One and two in the dugout canoes. Yeah. They left uh, Florida um, for the Bahamas. Yeah. Of course, the purpose of coming was the the Americans were moving in on them, they were on the slurry and we are then, so to speak, the uh, black Seminoles. Yes. And so uh, a group of them, there was some uh, people from the Bahamas who went over captain and told them about this land in the east that was slave free. Yeah. And so they wanted to come here. They leave in their dugout canoes, one and twos, and headed from Biscayne Bay to Red Bay. Okay. Um, after they got here, um, they didn't go exactly to the Red Bay, but they went th further down by. Uh, they went further down by to the south. A creek by the name of uh, Blue Creek, and they went inland there so far 
until they found the key. And they lived there, to which of course it was the Lewis's that went that way, and the McNeil, and the, the uh, and, and, and the, the McNeils and the other families, the Russells, and those they sailed and gone by the Joel Dickey area. Yes, and, uh, and so the Lewis's stopped down in the, in the um, Blue Creek area and they lived there for some years until a hurricane caused them or forced them to move from there and the sail came up north. Um, they stopped briefly at a place called Cedar Carpet and from there they came on up to Red Bay. Yeah, the original Red Bay, because this is not the Red Bay that they stopped first. The original Red Bays and settled there. A hurricane came, I think it was 1929, and they moved them from there and came this way again yeah. to a higher portion of land. And, it, and since it was the Lewises, they named the place where they stopped Lewis Coppice. The stand of coppice was so high when they came here, just about uh, three, four um, acres from, uh, from, my, from where I'm living, the, 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 the coppice was so high, they were lost for three days. Couldn't see the sun. And so, when they didn't get out, um, of course, the first, that, the first man, then they got they um, purchased from the government um, 51, and a half acre, um, 51 and a half acres of land stemming from this area go that way and they're here. Um, what interests me so much is my great grandmother was in that group, Mary Lewis. And Further, as they went up uh, further, then um, my great grandfather was in that group, the Newton. Well, to, to me, knowing him, he looked much more like the Seminole or the Indians than anyone else I know. He lived in Stanley Creek, but his son came here and helped to build Red Bay. So where you are now is originally Lewis Coppice, but when they, they were forced to move from the original Red Bays and came here, they brought the name with them. Was, was there fishing? Huh? Was there fishing? Uh, fishing? Yes, is the fishing good? Oh yes, oh yes. Um, well, of course, like a boy, as a boy, I could have told someone to settle on the pot store the grits, I'm going to get a fish. Okay. And by the time the grits was finished, I was coming back with the fish. Fishing was always good this way. Yeah. Um, even till now, most people, even the um, people with the fishing camp, because recently I've gotten to know that Prescott, uh, Prescott um, Smith was my relative. I recently, by talking, he just got to know, and so you know how that was, uh, rejoicing. Uh, when I get to know, he has a good setup there, and um, um, he got a good setup up in there, fishing. And they come down by the boat, fishing. A lot of people from the, uh, from the east side will come and fishing, even Abraham. Oh. <laughs> ah, there you are. Yeah. This is, can be purchased here, at Red Bay's, a handsome price of $20 per copy. With a goodbye cup. And uh, Miami, and he had a, a son named uh, uh, Lewis, Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis, we saw his house. Uh -huh. we uh, back there. He wanted to send him to the Bahamas on hearing about the freedom over here. 
and he said, put him on board one of the boats that were plying from the Bahamas to uh, Miami. And the old sea captain sell the boy to Cuba and Cuba to Cuba to the Cubans. And he is he went in Cuba. Mother came over in the Bahamas. Never see the boy. And her son since then. And um, they been they must have been down to Red Bay for some time because John, Susan, and Elizabeth each purchased one acre of land down in the origin. I have gotten to know that um, through some type of history. I'm reading about follow because the Miami Herald was sending me the, with their findings and I was just putting them to. We heard this Joe Lewis's house back in the woods. Yeah. And we saw a foundation of a house with an old fireplace yes, back sir. in the woods. Mm -hmm. Abraham um, took us back there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the old Joe Lewis here, one of the hurricane he went out on out here to our bay, bay to secure his boat with other men. Those have gotten back home and the tide carried you a different way and you will not know but Lo Sang um, there was a place Lo Sang near Lo Sang that was called Quartermaster, where a lot of people, that was another community, and a lot of people were living there. And so he starts swimming from here, and the tide carried him another way, and he ended up in Quartermaster, swimming three days, along with snake and frogs holding on to driftwood. Da, 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 I heard of them. Then you're swimming in fear. <laughs> He had married to a granddaughter of this uh, of Mary Lewis, my mother, my daddy, you know. And then again, my daddy, grandfather was one of those Stanley Creek, the one that I spoke of on more. Dad, he went to the 1914 war. Yeah. And after the war, he came back home. And. Red Bay was known for sponge, a good sponging area. Yeah. And so he came down here on a sponging trip. So my mother was so beautiful he couldn't go back. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stay here. I like that story. You get that, you get that. <laughs> and in 1935, Daddy started the school in the Baptist church. And after a few years, he got in with the men of the community and they built themselves a thatch tent where, where he taught for the rest of his life span. He lived, uh, he taught for 15 years and all together and died in 51. And, and I taught in the old thatch tent uh, with a uh, school population of 48, I taught there for about a few five years, and then I was I went into teachers training college in Nassau, where I stayed for a year for a year emergency training, and came back here. Um, and since then, I did 41 and a half years in education. And just recently, the school was renamed. Yeah, re the renaming of the school. Oh, just recently, the government saw it fit. Since I have taught outdoors under a tree, with the blackboard nailed to that tree, they saw it fit that the school should be named in my honor. Yeah. So the Prime Minister and uh, the Minister for Education came down that day and they had um, then um, changed the name from the Red Base Primary School to the now Bytram, uh, Reverend Bytram A. Newton um, Primary School. And that was mm -hmm. wonderful. I and, like to and I like to say that was one of the biggest and the most successful uh, event that took place in Red Bay. A lot yes, of people sir. from all over came just to witness that. That's right. That's Did right. you go to school? 
with the diocese. And mm. The deity. Yeah, deity. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing yes. with us this yes, afternoon. Sir. Yeah, yes, yes. We love it. Thank yes. you. I was a Prince Old. And for you telling us all about it. That I, was wonderful. Thank you that very much. Thank you. Amen. 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 where the Seminoles landed coming from Florida. Some of them, Lewis's family landed. We're gonna see the old cemetery. We're gonna see old bells and all the artifacts that is there at this moment. They're down in the old white red bay. and stuff to, to make for food. These guys just come out of the crab mud, catching the crab. One guy have a, a bag on his head, the other one have his stuff. They come with this pole laid up, get down, put a hand in the hole and pull them out. So you use a stick to dig the hole? You use a stick to dig the hole. Uh, no, you get all the months, they would they would come out of the hole and they would walk yeah. around the fatten them themselves yeah. and then they would go back into the hole so a metamorphosis could take place to change to the grow, size. for growth. Yeah. Crab yeah. would have to go in the hole up to turn yeah. soft. Yeah. yeah and then this this little oh. this little coppers right here. Oh, I'm <laughs> this was the this was the Seminole graveyard cemetery. This right here was the Seminole in the early 70s. You're gonna see this little, the, two, the graves and stuff. They had uh, glasses on top of them where they, in the old days when somebody died, they would take a, a cup, a glass, they would put flowers in it and place on the grave. And after a while the flowers would die, but the glass would still remain on top of that grave. And in the early 70s, you could see all of those graves right in here, but everybody discarded and then take them out of it just get overgrown, but this right here is the old cemetery where the old Seminoles used to do their burial. See you. Where these uh, Kamalami trees and stuff is right here. See this, this is called, this is called the Sponges Well. They built this well in, in, in Rayang in the, six, in, the, in the early 40s or so, so that when the guys go sponging, they would come out here, they would put their sponge on little cross tea, and they would come here to get fresh water, and, and, and the, the, the boats used to be at Little Cross Street a while there. We would come over here and get fresh water. This is the sponges well. I'll take you now, we'll move on from here and we'll go to the real Indian well. This is the, where the settlement it was. They, they, they used to live in the same area here. Yeah, they far in the back here. You see in the bushes is here where the settlement was, where they resided. They had their little thatch huts and stuff. They live in this area, they used to farm on this area, they used to grow their, their but, um, castawas and other things in the sun and, 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 they, and, and there's some trees, there's some sapodilly trees in this, there's some minor trees still in this as well that was here for 40 years before my time that the Indians grew and stuff like that. But these The here that I'm sitting on is the first in, um, Seminole Indian well that was probably put here during the 1800s when they arrived from Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lewis and those, they settled in this area and this was the well that, where they dug and they, 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 they made it out of the rocks and then they put this protection around it. And this is the remains of it right here and it just needs to do some cleaning out of it and you'll be able to have fresh water. Right for me, but this is one of those that was here during the 18, it was made in the 1800s. This is the Feist one. Feist well that the Seminoles used to, uh, you, uh, um, left behind. Sour limes and other stuff right in the, uh, around the, the village that they were able to use. But the hurricanes were too much. Yeah, the hurricanes because of the low lying area that is right there. The water would wash all over this and so they decided to move up into the high land where we came from the, the original red base where Pastor Fights Indian 
well, the Seminoles well when they migrated from Florida. This is where some of them landed and this was the well that they dug so that they can get fresh water and it still here existed so that we can see it and know that this is where they landed. This here is the first well that they dug to get fresh water from. Black. Yeah, they give it name after the color of the sun. Red sun. Red bean. Mm. Base. Mm. This is where when did the settlers from here move up? In the late in the late eighteen hundreds, they moved up. To the new and, settlement. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in the twenty in in, in, in the twenty six in the twenty six in nineteen twenty six they had a serious hurricane. Yeah. They were already living in the the new community. Mm -hmm. okay. That is the hurricane that passed and you didn't told you about that. Joe Lewis had to swim with the frogs and the snakes and stuff yeah. until he got the, back on the other side. Yeah, so this, this, How this, old then would this well be? This, 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 this well would be very old, maybe over 100. It should be more than 100 years or 100 and something years old. And, and it's still got fresh water yeah. so you can clean it up. And yeah. It's still used for water. It's down here with yeah. fresh water. Yeah. And and you call that new community community, what is that name of? The new community now we still oh. use the name that they gave Red Bay. But you got another for the name. name. For yeah. The, 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 uh, when they moved from here, uh -huh. they call where they landed up in the highland uh -huh. Lewis Coppet. Where the Lewis the Lewis was the family that sat, stayed here right. and after the hurricane they moved up and they give it name after they bought it from the government, Lewis Coppet. Okay, but it's not that there's no Lewis Coppet now. No, we give it the name. We took the name from the Seminoles Red Base and we give it to okay. That was made that was made right here in the island by the Midnight Knights. Oh really? The people that they took it off, they yeah. made that for us. Oh, I, I we know it. of the Mennonites and we know of the furniture they yeah. sell it. Yeah. 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 I don't know what more. In fact the Mennonites make yeah. special yeah. kitchen yeah. cabinets. Yeah. Okay. They're known. This is your preacher. Yeah, yeah. This is our church, oh, yeah. the Word of God, prayer yeah. ministry. It's built. It's our supposed made right here in the island, abandoned by the Middle Knights. They made that, and we bought our chairs from the United States with our logo on it, the Word of God, prayer ministry is on it. Mm -hmm. On our chairs, we hoping to get another 150 more to suit out the whole area. And this is what we do, try to encourage people to come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. This is, this is what we do here. Yeah. Yeah. We have music. Yeah, we have two keyboards and stuff and we get some money to Hey guy, what you doing? See, I'm picking an apple. Yeah. Yeah. And passing it to my daddy. Oh, smart. Let's see. Um, uh, I want to give you my number, and yes. you could you could get the rest of numbers from him. My cell yes. number is four seven one, one two four two. Three thousand. No, no. Just the palm granite. Oh, that's the palm granite. Okay, yeah. because I'm used to seeing them when this is gone and it's yeah. bigger. It's like that. Yeah, this yeah. is the palm granite.
big yard at the Pineville Motel. Yes, the Pineville Motel in Nicholas Tandras is your spot for the most unique island experience. Whether you decide to go fishing, crabbing, bird and wild boar watching or hunting, take in the forest garden with live entertainment, indoor and outdoor theater, find your way to the Pineville Motel in Nicholas Town, North Angeles. Coming from all the time. 